Hi, my name is Marissa, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to reconstitute a medication and administer it via a mini bag. So first, I'm just going to start by washing my hands. I should state that I have already pulled my medication from the Pixis machine, and I have confirmed the identity of my patient using the Pixis. So I'm going to do my first check now. So my right patient is Fiona Friedman. Fiona Friedman. My right medication is vancomycin. This is vancomycin. My right dose is 500 milligrams. I have a one gram vial of vancomycin. So I'm going to be able to, once reconstituted, pull up 500 milligrams. My right root is IV. This is IV vancomycin. And my right time rate frequency is every 12 hours that the dose due now. It's due now. So I'm just going to check my vial open, over, so ensuring that there's nothing wrong with it, there's no cracks, it's not expired. So I'm going to open up my parenteal drug monograph and I'm just going to review my medication. So my right medication is vancomycin, vancomycin. This can be administered by a student nurse, good. The usual dosage is one gram every 12 hours. I have spoken with my provider and they have stated that this is the dose that they would like to administer, but I am still under the maximum safe single dose, which is three grams per day. So looking at the information for reconstituting my medication, I know that I have a one gram vial, so I'm going to add 20 ml of sterile water for this. I'm going to have a, a final volume in my vial of 20 ml with a final concentration of 50 milligrams per, per ml. I'm just going to flip over to look up the information about diluting my medication later in the mini bag. So for a 500 milligram dose, I'm going to use a 100 ml ba mini bag of normal saline. The final volume of my mini bag is going to be 110 ml with a final concentration of 4.5 milligrams per ml. It's going to be administered over 30 minutes. Just also going to flip and ensure that I know the information about contraindications that I am uh, of my medication, as well as things that I'm going to be watching for. I'm also going to check and ensure with the drug monograph out now that the, that the solution that I have running in my patient's primary bag is compatible with the medication, and it is. So at this point in time, with my sterile water, wash my hands. I'm going to open up my vial. And I'm going to clean the tops of all of my vials for 30 seconds and let them dry for 15. I would use a different alcohol swab for each vial and each time letting them dry for 30 seconds or letting them dry for 15. I use one alcohol swab for this just to save just to save time. So if I had touched that, I would re-clean it. So now I'm going to note that I need 20 ml. So using two separate syringes, 10 ml syringes, I'm going to open this up. At this point in time, I noted that I only have one blunt fill, so I would have more blunt fills available for me. I'm going to go and grab one. In an actual situation, I would be in the med room and the blunt fills would be available to me. So I'm going to open up my syringe and my blunt fill using sterile technique for both. So I'm going to draw back to my 10 ml line and for the first file, which I have previously cleaned, I'm going to inject my air into the vial and I'm going to draw up 10 ml of sterile water. So at this point in time, I'm going to remove any bubbles that are in my syringe and ensure that I do in fact have 10 ml. So this one is done. I'm going to recap and I'm going to show you that I have 10 ml in this syringe. I will do the same thing with my other vial and my other syringe. Again, drawing out the same amount, the 10 ml, for a total of 20 ml between the two. The right patient writes in Emma. She has no known allergies. Um, and so the drug name is, uh, is, um, is metal, uh, metal. I'm going to recap my metal, syringe. Metal, I'm going to get rid of any bubbles that happen to be in my um, syringe. And, so and I'm going to ensure that I, in fact, have 10 ml. 
Have a little bit over, go in the disposal or over the sink and push up to 10 mLs. Again, showing that I have 10 mLs. So now going into my medication vial that I had previously cleaned, I'm going to inject my first syringe of sterile water. Letting the air come back out. Um, to avoid splashing on me. I would dispose of this in the sharp spin my, my and do the drug. same thing again Monograph. with my second um, syringe. So, methoprednisolone. Letting the air come out and removing it. Um, um, again, into my sharp spin. Uh, so in my hands, I'm going to roll my medication vial back and forth, um, allowing it to reconstitute. I would not want to shake my vial because this would introduce air into it. So now that I know that it's fully reconstituted, there's nothing in it still, no particles, I'm going to up, uh, take on my dosage of medication. So using one of my 10 ml syringe, syringes, I would have kept one, I would not have put both into my sharp container. So using one of my 10 ml syringe, the one that I saved, I'm going to pull up 10 ml of air and I would re-swab the top of my vial in case I had touched the top during reconstituting. I would also let it dry for 15. So now, I'm going to inject my air into my medication vial I'm going to pull up the correct dosage. Normal saving bag, and then I have that here, and then this is going to be administered over, um, over, over. Uh, I'll remove over. any air from my vial, so or from my, there, sorry, from my syringe, hydrogen. ensuring and that I don't so have any bubbles. And I'm going to push back up right to the 10 of my I'm just going to pull and wipe for 30 seconds. I'm going to recap my syringe, so have, and I'm showing you that I do have 10 of and I'll let it dry for, um, for, um, so I can put my, I'm with my medication and my syringe. I have a label that I have previously created and my mark. I'm going to do my second shot. So my right patient is Fiona Friedman, Fiona Friedman. My right medication is vancomycin, vancomycin. My right, uh, and vancomycin. My right dose is 500 milligrams. I know that based on my concentration, 500 milligrams is 10 mLs. I have 10 mLs in my syringe. I'm going to be administering this in IV route. This is IV vancomycin, IV, and it's administered every 12 hours. The dose do math, do math. So I can put my medication away. And now I'm going to proceed to the portion of diluting my medication. So I know based on my drug monograph that I need to use a 100 ml bag of sodium chloride. So I'm just going to take that out and then just going to recap. I'm just going to make sure With I an alcohol swab, right I'm going to clean the port for 30 seconds and let it dry for 15. So I'm just going to I would remove the cap from my syringe and into the center of that port. I'm going to inject my medication, being careful not to puncture the bag. So once this is removed, I put this into my sharps container and I would just gently mix my medication. I'm going to apply my medication label to the bag. It now has the information about the dilutant, which is 100 mLs of normal saline, and the new concentration, which is 4.5 milligrams per mL. So I'm now going to collect the items that I need before entering my patient's bed. I need my medication, my mark. I'm going to use alcohol swabs. I'm going to need the correct tubing, as well as my pen. So entering into my patient's room, I'm doing an entrance safety check. I'm going to wash my hands. Just There's nothing on the floor. My patient is alert and oriented. The Hi, my name is Marissa. I'm going to be your student nurse for today. I'm and here to administer your medication. Like Before we get started, so I'm just going, I'm just to, going to compare my patient's here. armband because to my so MAR. So I have right patient, Fiona Friedman, Fiona Friedman. Patient identification number, 1234579. I'm also noting that my patient does have an allergy to morphine. I should have noted this earlier as well while I was preparing my medication. All right. Can I get you to state your name? Thank you. And your date of birth? Thank you. And do you have any allergies, Fiona? Morphine? Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm also going to examine my patient's IV site while I'm here. I'm looking at it for any signs of infection, irritation, phlebitis. I'm also looking to see if it has gone interstitial. The IV looks okay. I'm gonna follow the lines up, ensuring that all of the clamps are open. I'm also gonna look and make sure that the primary is installing at the correct rate, and that I have the correct primary hanging and that it is not expired. So coming back over here, I'm going to complete my third check. So my right patient is Fiona Friedman. 
Fiona Friedman. Okay. My right dedication so now, um, is vancomycin. This is vancomycin. My right dose is 500 milligrams. Uh, I have 500 so milligrams of vancomycin. The right to or the right route right. is IV. Oh. This is IV Second vancomycin. Um, and, so and my right time rate frequency sense. is every 12 right. hours with the dose due now. Due now. The drug name is. So at this point in time, I'm just going to tell my patient a little bit about his medication or her medication. So this is your vancomycin. Uh, it's an anti-infective. This is because you have the cellulitis from the cat scratch on your left arm. So for this medication, we're going to be monitoring for a headache, a loss of hearing, or any nausea that you might be experiencing. So if you experience any of that, please let me know. So at this point in time, I'm going to open up my tubing. So this is going to be administered every every six hours, and then the first dose. And with the hook, I'm just going to I'm going to lower my primary um, dilute my medication into the mini bag so I'm just going to clean this for I want to lower my primary second. bag to ensure that the medication that once the medication is done installing it doesn't back up you have four minutes sorry I missed the five so at this point in time I'm going to begin to set up the secondary tubing so I'm going to remove this and the cap and I'm going to spike my bag Avoiding touching either one because they should remain sterile. My clamp is closed. Um, put my I'm going to hang my, my mini bag. And then, um, and so, 50 so now, um, 50 I'm taking an alcohol swab. Uh, I'm going to so clean a por the port have, before the Baxter pump. Um, so I want to clean the port um, before the Baxter pump because I want to use the Baxter pump to administer the medication. So I clean for 30 seconds and let it dry for 15. One, zero, one, Being careful one, not to touch anything. I'm going to remove the cap. I'm going to connect the two. So once these are connected, I'm, going to grab all I'm just going to lower my medication bag. And I'm going to back prime my lines. So I would open the clamp. I'm going to let the drip chamber fill and remove all the air from inside of my tubing. Once the drip chamber is half full, I would now begin to set my primary pump. So I'm going to open my clamp up, I'm going to select secondary, I'm going to program in the correct rate, which I calculated earlier because I'm administering over a half an hour. I'm going to administer at a rate of 220 ml per hour with a volume of 110 ml. So at this point, I would need to confirm my secondary and I would need to press start. I'm going to watch for three drips to come through my drip chamber. Um, can you tell me your age? Perfect. Um, do you have any known known allergies? No? Okay, perfect. So, um, I'm three. Going Good. Right. Once, I'm once three drips have come through my drip chamber, so the, um, I'm going to hand my patient my, the call bell, ensuring that he's not experiencing any of the symptoms we discussed earlier, but that they can call me if they do start to experience it. I'm going to also, at this time, label my tubing lines with the label. I want to ensure that it is labeled to make sure that they know when the correct appropriate time to change the tubing would be. So at this point in time, I'm going to sign my MAR with my initials, the date and time, and I'm going to do my exit safety check, taking with me my MAR, cleaning up the room. My patient's bed is in the low position, they're alert and oriented, and they know to call me if they need anything. I will be back when the medication is done installing.